I'm Dr. Sogen Karbalayeli with Washington DC Department of Transportation and I'm working at uh, traffic engineering and safety design division. I started my undergrad with civil engineering and then I kind of continue my education and in the middle of my PhD which by the way I went to LSU here so New Orleans is kind of home for me I decided to change my major to transportation engineering because it involves more with interaction with people it's something that we all do every day we all walk we all cross the road we all drive, take transit, and it motivates me to kind of shift to our transportation from civil engineering, and it was one of the best decisions I made. So yeah, and that, that is how I became a transportation engineer and practiced the same for a few years now. I joined ITE when I was in grad school and then through ITE newsletter I was informed about the contest on ePortfolio for transportation engineering students and believe it or not presenting ourselves is not our best skill and uh, we are engineers, we are in front of computers. So it was a challenge for me to make something that kind of show who I am and what I'm doing and put my research in some sort of like easy language that is understandable for everyone. But I took a challenge and then I submit my ePortfolio and I, I was one of the 10 uh, students that got the award and then the prize was coming to TRB in Washington DC uh, and it was the best uh, TRB that I attended because I got to know a lot of people in ITE and in transportation professional community and the award helped me to introduce myself more like unique way. So, and that kind of uh, was the way that I got more involved in ITE and I found my mentors, uh, Eric Renzel, and he kind of helped me to find volunteer roles through ITE uh, from that time until now. I think ITE gave me a lot of opportunities to uh, practice leadership and uh, my current role with Washington DC section of IT is I'm the area director and that role helped me a lot to uh, delegate tasks, to engage volunteers, to go and talk with people that they have no idea who I am and ask them to present for us and for members and also help students in the chapters that we have and in this area we have a couple of uh, university chapters, University of Maryland, Howard University, etc. And that engagement with students was my give back to the community because it takes a tribe. Nobody achieve anything on their own. And I've been in their place. I needed to learn how to make a resume, how to present myself, how to make a presentation, how to submit a paper. So I want to do all of that for students and encourage them to be more active. We are in an industry that we are in dire need of diversity. Uh, we need more women. 15% uh, of the transportation professionals are women, while like half of population are women. So we need to catch up and understand needs of women in transportation and moving from A to B. So I believe truly in diversity and I think different voices at the table makes our transportation system better. And I decided to be that diverse voice at the table, which in the be beginning was not really easy. But I'm happy that I make myself vulnerable and it takes courage and I kind of uh, encourage all the students and younger professionals to do that. Go sit at the table, sit the, at the very first round of the table, introduce yourself, be loud and ask questions that you really have, you're really seeking for answer for them. That's uh, how I got involved with ITE, took leadership roles and looking forward to be with the community for as long as I can serve.